Today, I'm going to talk about tricuspid ovarian stenosis imaging. So, tricuspid ovarian stenosis happens is if reduce the wall area less than 1 cm square. In corporation session, most common signs and symptoms like fatigue, exertional syncope, edema related to low cardiac output, Progressive fatigue and anorexia, fluttering sensation in necks due to giant A wave and slow descent in jugular venous parts, hepatosplenomegaly, ascites, and peripheral edema. Etiology. Rheumatic heart disease is most common cause. Carcinoid syndrome is second most common cause. Fibrous sickening and fusion of tricuspid viral apparatus often mix. Tricuspid, tricuspid viral stenosis and regurgitation. The top of different analysis of Tricuspid viral stenosis, uh, rheumatic heart disease, obstruct, obstruction of tricuspid viral congenital tricuspid viral stenosis, complication of other diseases like carcinoid syndrome, medication, eosinophilic endomyocardial fibrosis, endomyocardial fibroelastosis or lupus. The best clue to diagnosis is mean Doppler gradients more than 5 mm AC across while consider significant tricuspid wall stenosis. Gradient is rarely more than 10 mm AC. So, the morphology of the tricuspid virus stenosis is second uh, and gestal dome tricuspid left leaflet, right atrial enlargement, dilated inferior vena cover. In radiograph, we had to Find mark right atrial enlargement dilated of superior vena cava and acicos line. Pulmonary artery appear, appear normal unless associated mitral valve disease. This radiograph so dilated array atrium related to the severe tricuspid stenosis. On the lateral view, the same patient. So dilated parging inferior vena cava. In CT finding, non contrast enhanced CT, we can find calcified tricuspid valve left with dilated right atrium. 
the area more than 20 centimeters square. Contrast enhanced CT can find second tricuspid leaflet dilated around atrium, narrow tricuspid wall annulus, apathic venous congestion with dilated vena cover. This CT image shows sickening of the public and tricuspid one left with associated one stenosis due to carcinoid heart syndrome. Fibrous endocardial plaque developed on the tricuspid and pulmonic bar due to tumor metabolic being secreted directly into the hepatic vein in patients with liver metastasis. This CT image show the large right atrial mass protruding through the tricuspid valve in this patient with atrial plexoma. Some I finding also similar to the CT. So we, we can find seeking trichospid wall leaflet, aristic gastric opening, gastric low jet from trichospid wall into a right ventricle, a right atrium enlargement. So this is the same patient like in the case or in the CT image. So a right atrial mass causing a functional stenosis of the tricuspid valve indicated by a spin defacing flow void artifact directed from the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. Echocardiography. To the echocardiography, we can find few leaflet gastric doming right and atrium and IVC enlargement, we can find no more ventricular, ventricular function. In color the blur, we can find the diastolic high velocity turbulent flow across one, high transvascular pressure gradient on Doppler, frequently associated with tricuspid regurgitation. This echo so rheumatic tricuspid stenosis, no deristic motion of the second tricuspid black black during just on. This image so Second retracted left leg in system. Note the aplaza occlude the device. Place to repair the other sub defect. Until us where the blood through the tricuspid part. In a case of stenosis, so elevated transvascular velocity, the mean gradient can be determined from this. This image with carcinoid syndrome, so abnormal left that during just all, not the address of the effect. A closer divide, less to prevent left side carcinoid wall disease. Missing echo image with collateral flow, aromatic tricuspid stenosis, so an elevated 
inflow velocity with color analyzing and trichospid verifying. This image show severe trichospid stenosis with peak velocity across trichospid bar of 2m per second result in a peak gradient of 16mmHg. The mean gradient is 12mmHg. Angiographic finding. We can find light right Atrium, Abel, diastolic mean gradient of 4 to 8 millimeter Hg across type of suited one. Imaging recommendation is echography. For CT of this one, we need three pass contrast injection or delay scan. I prefer to opacify what right hand. Treatment, saw restriction and diuretic therapy, balloon valvuloplasty, glycosparic PM or replacement. Thank you.